Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll discuss about parameters of cylindrical coordinate system. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you how many parameters that I'm going to discuss in this video. In this video, I'll explain parameters of cylindrical coordinate system in comparison with Cartesian coordinate system, where I'll be discussing about change in coordinates, line integration, surface integration, volume integration, del operator, gradient, curl of function and divergence of function. So these are the parameters that I'll be discussing for cylindrical coordinate system in comparison with Cartesian coordinate system. So first of all, you need to understand how cylindrical coordinates are there. One should know in cylindrical coordinate system, coordinates are R, Pi and Z. So first of all, you need to understand how these coordinates are placed in comparison with X, Y and Z. Let us consider one point over here. And if you observe this point from top view, then we will be having X, Y plane. You can observe if you observe it from top view, then you will be having X, Y plane. So this point is available somewhere over here. Let us consider that. Here, the radius that is r so for the cylinder we have radius r you can observe and from top view you can observe radius is r like this right if you take a trajectory on xy plane if you take a trajectory on xy plane then here see on xy plane angle with respect to x axis that is phi angle with respect to x axis that is phi. So if you observe this trajectory, then angle with respect to x axis that is phi. The length of this cylinder that is z, so we have quarter cylinder over here and length of this cylinder that is z. So that is how these coordinates are there with cylindrical coordinate system. Now we need to understand how changes are there. Like you see, we have x, y and z coordinate with Cartesian coordinate system. So here, if you talk about change in x, then that will be dx. If you talk about change in y, then that will be dy. And if you talk about change in z, then that will be dz. So how changes are there in coordinate r, phi and z? If you talk about change in R, so change in R that is change in radius. So here change in radius that will be dr. If you talk about change in phi, so change in phi that is quite interesting that is r d phi. Let me explain that. See if you view it from top view, then if you have change in angle which is d phi so here parameter that is changed by this much amount that is r d phi so change in parameter with respect to angle phi that is r d phi in cylindrical coordinate system and change in z change in z that will be dz only right change in z that will be dz only so that is how changes are there and based on changes we can understand all the parameters right so now i'll explain you this comparison with respect to different parameters so when you talk about change in coordinates then in cartesian coordinate system changes are there as per dx dy and dz with respect to x y and z axis but in cylindrical coordinate system changes are as per dr for radius then r d phi for angle phi and dz that is how changes are there right now let us talk about line integration so first of all i'll explain line integration with respect to cartesian coordinate system right so as and when you have line integration you will have to consider dl right and l is having direction in line integration so dl that is dx into ix direction plus dy 
इंटू आई वाई डिरेक्शन प्लस डी जेड इंटू आई जेड डिरेक्शन दैट इज हाउ वी विल बी यूजिंग डिफरेंशियल लेंथ फॉर अ लाइन इंटीग्रेशन एंड बाय हैविंग लिमिट्स ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड वी कैन हैव लाइन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एनी फंक्शन इन कार्टेजियन कोर्डिनेट Similarly, in cylindrical coordinate, as if you talk about dl, that is also having direction, and that will be dr into ir direction plus r d phi into i phi direction plus d z into i z direction. Now you see here in the direction of d phi, we have r d phi. right so that is how difference is there it is not directly like dr into ir direction plus d phi into i phi direction instead of d phi there will be r d phi always remember this now i'll explain you surface integration calculation so surface that is also having direction right now if you talk about surface with respect to x y plane so there will be dx dy in xy plane surface integration will happen with dx dy and if surface is there in xy plane then direction of surface that will be there in z direction if you have surface that is in xz plane then dx dz will be there and direction of this surface will be there in y direction if you have surface in yz direction then dy dz will be there and direction of this y z plane that will be there in x direction right that is how surface will be there with differential element and direction that one should know direction of surface will be perpendicular to the surface right now if you talk about surface integration in cylindrical coordinate system then surface will be having direction now if you have r phi plane right so you will be having dr d phi but along with d phi you will have to have r d phi so here you will have to multiply r dr d phi for surface which is there in r phi plane right and direction will be perpendicular to r phi that is there in i z direction if you have surface in r z plane then dr d z that will be a surface and here direction will be there in i phi and if you have surface which is there in phi z plane then we will be having r d phi d z right and direction will be there in i r direction so that is our direction and surface that we need to integrate now one should be having limits and by applying limits we need to have integration but this is very essential that you should know now let me discuss about volume so in volume integration we don't have direction so dv that we need to calculate so that will be dx dy dz in case of cartesian coordinates but in case of cylindrical coordinate we will be having r dr d phi dz here r is there with us right the reason is in differential element of phi we will be having r d phi right now let us talk about del operator so del operator that one should know del is del by del x in ix direction plus del by del y in iy direction plus del by del z in iz direction that is how del operator is there and if you want gradient then this del into function that you need to multiply and this function will be scalar function so here you will be writing del f right it is not del dot f it is del f only so for cartesian coordinate it is quite simple but for cylindrical coordinate you see we will be having del f over here where here i'll be writing del first so in case of radial direction we will be having del by del r in ir direction plus in case of direction of phi we will be having del by r del phi in i phi direction 
plus in the direction of z we will be having del by del z in i z direction and into function f that we need to do for a gradient right so that is how gradient and del operator is there now i'll explain you curl of function calculation so here in cartesian coordinate function is given fx ix plus fy iy plus fz iz so if you want curl of function then that is del cross f so curl of function that is ix iy iz and here del by del x del by del y and del by del z is there with us and here we will be having x coordinate of function here we will be having y coordinate of function and here we will be having z coordinate of function so by solving this matrix we can have curl of function in cartesian coordinate and in cylindrical coordinate curl of function is del cross f here in curl of function calculation we have coordinate ir i phi and i z right here variation with respect to r that is del by del r variation with respect to phi that is del by del phi and variation with respect to z that is del by del z here with radial direction function is fr with angular direction phi function is f phi and with direction z function is fz now with this you need to remember few basics see here if you talk about variation then with radial direction variation is dr with angle phi variation is r d phi and with z variation is dz so along with phi we need to multiply r means here component f phi that we need to multiply by r over here right and one more thing that you need to note down see with ir i phi and iz we need to balance this so here with this row we are multiplying extra r over here so with this row we need to divide that extra r but with phi we have already multiplied r so here you don't need to do anything but here you will have to divide that r over here right so this is how we will be having curl of function in cylindrical coordinates right when you talk about divergence calculation then in cartesian coordinate divergence is del dot f now what is del dot f del dot f in cartesian that is quite simple it is del fx by del x plus del fy by del y plus del fz by del z right that is how one can understand this this is quite simple but when it comes to cylindrical coordinates at that time it is del dot f here see with radial direction we need to divide that by r over here and along with fr we need to multiply r so here you can see 1 by r del r fr by del r plus here with angular direction 1 by r del f phi by del phi plus with z direction we will be having del fz by del z that is how one can identify divergence in cylindrical coordinate system so these are the parameters that you need to understand and based on these parameters in future i'll be explaining you few examples as well i hope you have enjoyed this session still if anything that i'd like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video